Hello and welcome, my name is John Dickinson, here to share with you some of the great new features and enhancements in Particle Illusion, included in Continuum's 2023 release. Particle Illusion 2023 has been given a major performance boost, with caching and render speed increases up to 50%, depending on your operating system, hardware and project specifics. I noticed a big speed increase with this project. Being able to move the time indicator around and have PI cache faster allowed me to refine this look without having to wait as long each time I made a change. Another big improvement in Particle Illusion 2023 is evident over here in the controls view. In previous versions, all of the parameters were in one big list, but now related parameters are grouped into categories, which makes them much easier to find. And with particle controls, the overlife parameters have been moved from the bottom of the list into their various categories, making them much more accessible. Now, you may also notice that some parameters are grayed out, and these aren't actually disabled, they're de-emphasized. Spin over life, for example, is de-emphasized, and that's because the related parameters of spin and spin variation are set to zero. If I change either one of those, notice how spin over life is now no longer gray. Another example is tint color. If I increase tint strength, then tint color is no longer de-emphasized. So de-emphasizing makes it easier to look at the controls and quickly recognize what is and isn't affecting your simulation. We've also improved the way in which particles behave when you're working with fluid dynamics enabled forces. Notice here how when the particles exit the force, they're no longer affected by the fluid dynamics, but it does leave this visual boundary between what is and isn't affected. To fix that in Particle Illusion 2023, we've added an edge softness option, and you can use this to remove this boundary. There's also a new swirl turbulence option, which you can use to add more detail to your fluid simulations. You can see even with this simulation detail at 64, which is the highest, cranking the swirl turbulence up gives me even more detail. And related to fluids, emitters now have a new affected by fluids option. And in this example, it allows me to spread the particles away from the fluid affected particles for a more dust-like appearance. In previous versions of Particle Illusion, increasing the size of emitters that have a shape would always increase the number of particles. And this isn't always ideal because it could affect performance. In Particle Illusion 2023, we've introduced new scale number with shape options. And these can be unchecked to maintain the original particle number independent of the emitter size. In After Effects, we've included that option for masks and text emission. And this is deselected by default, making it easier and faster to work with mask and text emitters. Also in After Effects, there's now a visual indication inside Particle Illusion when using masks and text, and when using motion blur set to force on or host settings. In Particle Illusion, notice how motion blur is no longer selectable, and emitter shape is also non-selectable, and displays using host mask text. So this is just giving you a little more feedback on what's going on in your host. 3D models emission has also been updated to include a new emit from normal option. In previous versions, particles would all emit in the same direction, but this new option causes particles to be emitted out from the polygon normals of the model. And this is even more obvious when we activate lines. And there are also various other small enhancements that make working in Particle Illusion 2023 better than ever. So definitely look out for the upcoming Getting Started with Particle Illusion series update, where I'll be covering those in more detail. Be sure to visit borisfx.com to learn more and download a free trial of Continuum.